Hi class, in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the standard deviation and the 95% rule. First of all, the standard deviation is used for quantitative data to measure the spread or the variation of the data. And the definition is that it is the average distance each point is from the mean. This is what the formula looks like to calculate the standard deviation. As you can see, it's a little bit messy looking and it's not actually that fun to calculate by hand. So most of the time we're gonna have software compute the standard deviation for us. When we're talking about the standard deviation that is calculated from sample data, then the notation is to use a lowercase s to re represent standard deviation. And when we're talking about the standard deviation of the population, then we use the Greek letter sigma. So as I mentioned, standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the data is. So a bigger number for standard deviation means that the data is more spread out. So here you have two different distributions. One has a standard deviation of one and the other has a standard deviation of four. And as you can see the bottom distribution in that histogram, the data points are a lot more spread out than they are in the top histogram. So in practice, we would calculate standard deviation using software. And in our class, we typically use stat key. And as long as you enter the data in, this is under descriptive statistics for one quantitative variable, then over on the box on the side, it will just compute standard deviation for you. You can also use Excel or another statistical analysis program to find standard deviation. Even some of your calculators will calculate standard deviation for you. One handy thing that we can do with standard deviation is we can use it to get a feel for where the data is in our distribution or in our data set. Uh, and one way we do that is using the 95% rule. So the 95% rule says that if we have bell-shaped symmetric distributed data, then about 95% of the data is going to be within two standard deviations of the mean. So when I say within two standard deviations, what I mean is that if we take the mean and we add the value of two standard deviations, or we take the mean and we subtract the value of two standard deviations, then between those two numbers that we get, we expect 95% of the observations to be. So one way that we can use this, if we know what the mean and standard deviation of a distribution are, we can use that to figure out a 90% interval where we expect 95% of the values to be. So for example, IQs are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. So if I wanted to find an interval that would contain the middle 95% of IQs in the population, I can apply the 95% rule. So I would take the mean, which is 100, and I'm gonna add and subtract two times the value of the standard deviation. So in this case, that's two times 15. So that ends up being 100 plus and minus 30. So I take 100 minus 30 and 100 plus 30 to get 70 to 130. So what this means is that about 95% of all IQs are between 70 and 130. Mm -hmm. Now we can also use the 95% rule to help us approximate what the standard deviation is using a histogram. And the way that we're gonna do that is if our histogram is bell-shaped symmetric, so if we were kind of to smooth it out, it would look like this curve here. Then if I look at my histogram and cut off a little bit on either side. So you can see here on my graph, and here I'll turn on my pointer so that I can even show you a little bit more. Okay, so here's the minus two standard deviations, here's the plus two standard deviations. What I'm gonna do with my histogram when I, when I get to an actual example is I'm gonna cut off about two and a half percent on either side. So you can see that's just a little bit of the tails on both sides of my distribution. Then I, if I take the x value where I cut off at the top and the x value where I cut off at the bottom, between those two numbers, you can see that I have one, two, three, 
four standard deviations, four times the standard deviation is in that interval. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the big number that I get from this axis minus the little number and divide by four, and that's gonna give me a pretty good estimate of what the standard deviation is. So let's look at how we would do that. So I'm gonna look at the top graph here first, okay? And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna cut off two and a half percent on either side. So two and a half percent is a little bit. So I'm gonna come in a little bit and then draw a line down to my x-axis. Then I'm gonna make note of where my line crosses the x-axis. So it looks like it's about negative two to two here on my graph. Then I'm gonna take the big number, which is two, minus the little number, which was negative two, and divide by four. So I end up with two minus a negative two, which gives me four, divide that by four, and I get one. So a good estimate for the standard deviation for this top distribution would be one. Same thing with the bottom distribution. I'm gonna cut off a little bit, two and a half percent on either side. Then I'm gonna look at where my cutoff lines cross the x-axis. In this case, it's negative eight and eight. I'll take the big number minus the little number and divide by four. And we always divide by four because if you remember on the previous screen, we showed how there was four standard deviations between the big number and the little number. So when I do that, I get 16 over four, um, and which works out to being four. So a good estimate for the standard deviation for this data is four. So let's look at uh, a more practical example here. Um, so here's a histogram of 100 heights, adult heights. And we're gonna use this histogram to estimate the mean and the standard deviation. So remember this 95% rule can only be used if we have a bell-shaped symmetric distribution. If we have a skewed distribution, then the rule is not going to apply. But in this case, this looks like a fairly bell-shaped symmetric distribution. We can apply the rule here. First, I wanna look at the mean. And in a bell-shaped symmetric distribution, the mean is gonna be right in the center center of our data. So I'm just gonna draw a line straight down the center and wherever I cross the x-axis, that's gonna be my mean. Now let's look at the standard deviation. For the standard deviation, in order to apply that rule to figure out a good estimate for standard deviation, I'm gonna come in a little bit, okay? About two and a half percent on either side and I'm gonna draw my lines. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky trying to eyeball where is this two and a half percent exactly. Uh, if you know how many observations that you have, you can multiply the number of observations by two and a half percent to help you figure out how many observations that you need to come in by. So two and a half percent of 100 is of course 2.5. So I know I'm coming in about 2.5 observations on each side. And it is, it is a little bit approximate, so we really are just coming in a little bit and cutting off. Uh, but looking at my histogram here, this first bar goes up to one, and the second bar looks like it goes up to three. So making the cut where I did, I actually cut off about four observations on that side. Um, coming in about the same amount on this side, I ended up cutting off two observations down there. So altogether, I, I am cutting off about, um, in this case, it's closer to about 6%, 5 6%, a little bit um, on either side. Now again, I'm just gonna take my big value, 75 minus the little value of 61 and divide by four, which gives me an estimate for my standard deviation of 3.5. All right, so now you see what you can do for this one. So pause the video here and see if you can figure out what the mean and standard deviation would be for this data here. This is a histogram of 136 months of U.S. retail sales. All right, now that you've had a chance to try this out for yourself, let's see if you got it right. So for our mean, right down the center, we get about 300. These are in billion, so that'd be 300 billion. And for the standard deviation, when we come in just a little bit on either side, um, I made my cutoffs at 225 and 375 and ended up with a standard deviation of 37.5. So how did you do?